Hello there. So, um, this video just sort of sprang up, just kind of popped up out of nowhere. Uh, of course, I put the box in a really bad spot. Let's see, mind you. Jesus! Okay, so I probably should have put the camera in, in a better spot. Anyhow, um, so I checked the mail, checked the mail today, and I saw that I got a giant box in the mail from my friend Erin. She recently had just sent me, um, I already put it away so it wouldn't get, uh, banged up, uh, but she just sent me a Simpsons, um, a trivia game, it, you know, complete in the box with everything, which was really cool, and, uh, I didn't know she was sending me anything else. She did mention she was sending me something. Uh, but I thought she was just sending that. Um, I didn't know that she was sending more goodies. Um, so, I didn't know what that was, uh, but I knew it was just something small. Uh, so I didn't think to, like, record it or anything. But, um, this is, like, huge. And it sounds like there's multiple things in here. Uh, so, this is live. You know, I'm, the, I'm obviously going to record it. Um, but if anything is in here that you guys shouldn't see... I'll make sure to uh, to edit it out. But I just figured it'd be kind of cool. You guys get my reaction uh, just looking through some stuff. So. Cheers, everyone, if you are drinking. Okay. Uh, not sure what this... <laughs> oh, boy. What the hell is this? <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. Okay. Oh, boy. All right, so, uh, this is exciting. Uh, this is Bottoms Up, an outrageous adult party game <laughs> by Hustler since 1974. <laughs> and, uh, this is, uh, by, uh, it says something, proud sponsor of the Free Speech Coalition, Be Smart, Drink respons Responsibly by Top Co Sales. So, there it is. Bottoms up. See, this is why I, I absolutely adore my friend Erin, because I just, I never know what the hell she's going to send me. Uh, she mentioned that she was at a yard sale, and, uh... Saw some board games for sale. There's the fucking board game. I don't think I've ever. <laughs> it's a fucking ass. I, I don't. I don't think I've ever. Uh, Austin Wilcut, you're gonna be all over this fucking game. I don't. I don't think I've ever encountered anything like this in my life. Uh, this is insane. It looks like Monopoly. This is uh, awesome. I'm definitely, definitely, definitely gonna be playing this. It came with like the paper. And, like, you know, the little pencil, like, all these board games, and, like, you got the sand timer. Like, this is great. This is, uh, this is absolutely great. You got the, the die. So, all right, well, that's cool. That's, that's pretty goddamn funny. So that is bottoms up the board game. Well, I'll drink to that. <laughs> This next one, it says Jeff Holland's box. It's a shoe box. So, I'm assuming she filled this box full of some goodies. So, uh, she wrote a nice little le letter. Jeff, here's thanking you for your jokes, for the lessons you have taught me, for allowing me to share my lessons with you. For all that craziness back at Duncan. <laughs> Was it 93 or 2010? For all that craziness on Southgate. For all that comfort and pleasant gap. And for many years of friendship to come. Love, Aaron. We'll see ya around. So that was very lovely of her. She wrote me a little, little letter. Okay, so here I have... Oh, wow. These are like... 
old school looking headphones it looks like or maybe these are new age headphones I've never seen headphones like this these are uh, these are kind of neat looking I'm not sure how these work oh man a little tight I'll have to uh, play around but yeah I got some uh, Hey man, I could always use new headphones. These are wacky though. I've never seen headphones that look like that. Pretty weird. But there you have it. So I got some headphones. Uh, this is Shoney Bear and His Friends Christmas Song Book. Wow, that's great. This looks really old too. That's pretty neat. So there is that. Oh wow, 1981. Holy shit. That's crazy. So there is that. Uh, a PlayStation 2 game with the game and the manual, so complete in box. That's always fucking awesome. And this is SX, SSX3. So there is that. So that's pretty fucking awesome. Oh yeah, I did give this to her. Wow, this I was going to say, this looked familiar. Jeff, you gave this to me years ago. It has been an indelible something of inspiration to me for many years as we have known one another. Keep it with you until we exchange it again. It's a little tough to read that, but I do, I do remember giving this to my friend Aaron. So she's giving it back to me. Um, we do like weird things like that. Um, it's it's it, you know we 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 just do fun, interesting things. So that is that. Okay, so it looks like looks like I got a towel. Let me see what this is. Oh wow! Oh wow! Oh my god. Oh man, I'm gonna cry. This is insane. She got me a fucking Ninja Turtles town, man. Look at that. I don't know if you guys can see that. Hold on a second. I'm gonna... Holy shit, dude. Kick some shell. Oh man. Oh dude. Man, that's crazy. That's fucking crazy. Holy cow, man. I don't even know what to say right now. Like, I'm shocked. I'm fucking blown away. Wow, man. Holy shit. That's like... That's fucking insane. Like, I'm definitely not gonna use this. I'm definitely gonna, like, hang this on the wall. Like, oh, man. This, like, completes the game room. Like, the game room needed, like, one more fucking thing. And and this is, uh... This did it for sure. Wow, that's... That's crazy. I'm like... Oh, man, I'm so fucking shocked right now. I can't believe she did this. Like, she didn't have to do all this. Like, I know she was sending me a couple of things, but, like... And just looking at that, looking at that box. Like, oh, man... Like, this is, this is crazy. I need a minute, guys. I, I need a minute. That is, like, holy shit. Like, that is a really nice item. Like, I absolutely love the Ninja Turtles, and I don't have any of my memorabilia from when I was younger. A lot of it got lost <clears throat> because my parents got a divorce, and we moved multiple times and stuff. So, you know, think, things just disappear, you know, when you move from house to house. But, um, yeah, man. Okay, moving on. That was like, wow, like, fucking wow. Like I saw there was a towel in here, but I didn't. I didn't think it was a Ninja Turtles towel. So, all right, so I'm just gonna start up with what's on top. So, um, Nintendo sleeve. That's always good. Uh, here we have. This is actually pretty goddamn awesome. It's the Fisher Price. I can remember <laughs> Nintendo game, which I don't have this. I actually do not have this game. 
Um, and uh, I'm not going to lie, I didn't even know that this was a thing. Uh, this is in really good condition. Uh, this is absolutely crazy. Uh, that is really, really awesome. So, Fisher Price, I can remember. Finally a game that I can play. I mean, you know, finally a game that I'm probably going to be good at. Okay, here. Oh, I love the games that are shaped like this. These are always cool. And the sleeve, sleeve of course, for it. Uh, this is RBI Baseball. I actually do not have uh, this game either. Um, and uh, I'm not going to lie. I don't know if I've ever seen RBI Baseball. I may have, and I just don't remember. Uh, but this is pretty cool. It's, like, officially sponsored by the MLB. Uh, but, yeah, Tengen games. I love me Tengen games. Uh, eventually, I'd like to own all the Tengen games, which I know is a tough feat. <laughs> uh, but, hey, man, you know, you got to start somewhere. So I got a Tengen baseball game, and it's another game that I don't own. So, hey, man, that's, that's a massive win. Uh, up next, of course... Another sleeve. Uh, this is a game I do own, uh, but it is a great game to own uh, extra copies of for sure. It is Super Mario Brothers 3. So, can't say enough awesome things about that game, but that is fucking awesome. That's super cool. So, Super Mario Brothers 3. Uh, here uh, is uh, Super Mario Brothers, so the first one as well, which I also have this game uh, by itself, which is nice. Like This is actually kind of a little bit harder to find now, because more and more people are buying them and holding on to them, so that is really cool. Okay, here, got another Nintendo sleeve, of course, and this, I don't think I have this game. I'm pretty sure I don't. Uh, RC Pro-Am. I mean, RC Pro-Am. That's cool. I could always use extra uh, racing games for the Nintendo Entertainment System, so that's great. And it's from 1987, the year I was born. So that's another win. And then the last game, this is like really awesome. I'm really excited for this. Uh, it's the last item uh, in the box. Um... I don't know if I've ever come across this in the wild, um, but I'm pretty sure I've seen this at like stores, and it does sell uh, for a decent amount. Uh, it has been rising, or at least on the rise, but uh, here we have Bugs Bunny in Crazy Castle, and uh, Bugs Bunny had some really cool side-scrolling games, and uh, some of them were harder than others. But, uh, that's awesome. That's fucking awesome. So, so that was it, guys. I thought I'd just do a quick bonus unboxing, uh, from my friend Aaron. Um, simply great, uh, turtle's tail and, uh, bottoms up, I mean, for sure. Bottoms up, that's, like, incredible. But, yeah, all the Nintendo games... Uh, the PlayStation 2 game even, like, that's cool. Like, I I barely have any PlayStation 2 games. So I would, uh, for sure, be open to checking that out. And uh, you can't go wrong with some Shoney and his friends uh, Christmas songbook. So, anyhow, thank you guys for watching. Uh, as always... Cowbunga dudes.